Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at adding and subtracting fractions. So let's see this in action. One quarter plus one third. To add these two fractions, I need to be able to compare them. And I can only compare two fractions when they've got the same denominator. So one quarter is the same as three twelfths and one third is the same as four twelfths. You can see this in this picture here. To convert them without the picture, you multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by the same thing. To get twelfths here, I do four times three. And so I do the same on the top, I multiply it by three. Similarly over here, to get twelves on the bottom, I times it by four, times it by four. And so one quarter is three twelfths, one third is four twelfths. I can now add them really easily, and they add together to make 7 twelfths. Over here. So, to add or subtract fractions, you need a common denominator. Here, I've got 1 fifth plus 2 fifths. Here, the denominator is the same already, so it's super simple. 1 plus 2 is 3, and the bottom number stays the same. Now, 2 thirds plus 1 sixth, I need the bottom number to be the same. I'm going to change that 3 to be a 6. By multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, over, uh, plus 4 sixths plus 1 sixth is 5 sixths. Now, the final uh, 1 quarter plus 2 sixths, I want the bottom number to be the same. And I think I'm going to go for 12 here. By multiplying by 3, multiplying by 3, multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2. That gets 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths is 7 twelfths. And that's the final answer. Now, subtracting fractions is very similar. Uh, let's see this. Uh, 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths. I subtract the top. The denominator is already the same. And yet 4 sevenths. Now over here, 4 fifths minus 3 tenths, I make a common denominator by multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2, and I get 8 tenths minus 3 tenths. I subtract the top, 8 minus 3 is 5 tenths, and that is almost the final answer. I just need to simplify this one. So always keep your eye out for fractions you can simplify. I can divide the top and the bottom by 5, and so I divide the top and bottom by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and so you get 1 half. Okay? Please remember to simplify your fractions if you can. Now, 5 sixths minus 2 fifths, multiply by 5, multiply by 6, and we get 25 minus 12, 25 fifths minus 12 thirtieths, sorry, 25 thirtieths minus 12 thirtieths is 13 thirtieths, and that's the final answer. Okay. Finally, I'm also going to show you how to deal with mixed numbers. If you haven't seen my video on mixed numbers and improper fractions yet, I think you should watch that now. I will put the link at the top of the screen. Firstly, we're going to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. I do 3 times 5 plus 2, and 1 times 3 plus 2 gives us 17 fifths minus 5 thirds. The 17 is 3 times 5 plus 2. The 5 is 1 times 3 plus 2. The bottom numbers remain the same. Now you go to times by 3, times by 3, times by 5, times by 5 to get 15 as the common denominator. Finally, I just subtract the top. 51 minus 25 is 26. 15ths. Now I need to convert this into a mixed number. So 26 divided by 15 is 1, remainder 11. So the answer is 1 and 11 15ths. Okay? You may want to rewatch some of these examples again before you try some practice questions. These practice questions are for you to try. Pause the video and have a go at these yourself. I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 
one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have more videos coming all the time. Remember to like and subscribe uh, so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and good luck in your exams.